I got into science by accident. When I left school, I was going to be a school teacher and I failed at university. So that summer, 1965, I went fishing off the Castle Cliff Wharf and bought fish and chips for lunch. Staring at me out of the newspaper wrappings was an ad for a chemistry technician at DSIR. I applied for the position and I'm still here after 50 years. I was trained as an analytical chemist and got a New Zealand Certificate of Science out of Wellington uh, Polytech. In 1971, I transferred to Ecology Division DSIR, based out of Taupo, to work on eutrophication of lakes. In 1980, I was given a visiting fellowship to Edinburgh University to work with a team of scientists on iron cycling in the Cumbrian Lakes. That work is now being used in the restoration of lakes in New Zealand. I was made a scientist in 1992 when the Taupo Research Lab became part of NIWA. I've been studying lakes for the last 40 years, including Lake Taupo, the Rotorua Tiarua Lakes, Lake Horofanoa, just to name a few. I was an inaugural member of the Bay of Plenty Regional Council Technical Advisory Group, the TAG team, and been investigating since then, the restoration of the Manua Tiarama Lakes. In 2010, I was awarded a honorary doctorate from the University of Waikato in recognition of my work on lakes and for the monitoring with students. I've been very pleased to see that the work that we did on developing a research plan for the lake has been adopted by the Lake Horofanoa Accord and forms the basis of that document. My work hasn't always been on lakes. I've done quite a bit in the estuarine field there, and working with sustainable agriculture in Porus Sound. And I've been working with the Niwa teams on the benthic communities and estuaries. I also developed a technique for tracking the sources of um, soil that are contributing to sediments. And this technique uses my forensic skills from earlier on to look at compound specific isotopes of the organic biomarkers in soil. This technique has been used in at least 20 studies in New Zealand. It's also been adopted by the International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna and is a tool used for conservation of soil for sustainable food production. It's been used in 40 countries around the world. And to aid with this work, I've trained numerous scientists in Vienna, China and Chile. I really enjoy science.